Uh, my name is Setokhane Manchidi and I am the head of Corporate Social Investments and Investec in South Africa and we are a pivotal founding partner uh, with Kukano, which is the, the partner angel um, and we have founded Promise uh, over 10 years ago. The initiative came about uh, because we wanted, we initially were giving infrastructure, so we were building buildings, we are building classrooms, we are doing a whole host of things that was more infrastructure focused. But a few years ago, our strategy changed to more of a, an academically inclined uh, uh, program, which is more academic support. What you wanted, you wanted to drive results. It wasn't about only creating uh, an environment conducive to learning. And we felt that our view was being the type of financial institution we were, we're in the business of banking professionals, young entrepreneurs, and so on and so forth, was to try and create and make a contribution to the development of young entrepreneurs who needed, and professionals, who needed maths and science. Um, and we realized that the maths and science results coming out of our public school system was not adequate. And that's when we set out to say we want to pilot a model. And the model, the view right in the beginning, should be replicable. So we piloted a model that we listen, changed, chopped and changed as we went along, but understood that it needed to, to be replicable. And today, it has grown to so many centers across the country. It started in Soweto, so the Dobsonville Center, which we're celebrating with today, is the one that we started with. We're almost in every single province. My name is Pet Sikane. I'm the curricular manager for Kukano Center for Math, Science and Technology. I started with Kukano in 2005 because as an organization, we saw the need to improve the quality of paths for learners in the townships in mathematics and physical sciences. I suppose one, in terms of the current cohort of students, we have created at least capacity on the Promise program in a given year to have about 3,600 learners. We want to grow that, obviously, to close to 10,000 with time we work, but it costs money. And the idea is every center has grade 10s, 11s, and 12. So, on average, every center would have about 450 uh, uh, learners uh, across all grades. But Promise, Dobsonville, Free State, because they've been around for a while and they're doing well, they've got slightly higher numbers. So in, in, in Dobson, you've got about 700 kids. The same in, uh, in the Free State, where we've doubled the numbers. Um, and the idea is the more capacitated the center is, the more it's capable to take more you want, it, you, you want, you want it to, to take more. Um, and the wonderful thing is, once they graduate, we have thousands that have come through this program. What, once they've graduated, they are then accepted and inducted into what we call the Promets Alumni Chapter. And the Alumni Chapter starts at the basic level at the various universities. So if I go to UP, I've got a Promets Alumni Chapter at UP. I've got a Promets Alumni Chapter at Brits. I've got a Promets Alumni Chapter at... Everywhere you go, and the idea is that as you leave your Promets Center, Dobsonville, uh, uh, the one in Pumalanga, Nelspreet, or the one in Mamelodi, wherever you leave, you get to university and you find a way away, a home away from home where there are people who understand, who've come from similar kind of setups. Uh, and the idea, as I deliberately said to them today, is for them to support each other. It's for them to make sure that as others come along, they welcome, they induct, and, and that's it. You should never feel so lost. Because unlike us, when I went to UCT, I was the first in my family to go to UCT. I left the dust rural village of Khapasha to go to Rondebosch. It was quite a challenge for me to transition into that space because nobody else understood the kind of space that I had come from. They have got each other. And the beautiful thing is, it's even growing at the level of professionals. Now we've got ProMeds alumni uh, members who are professionals, who help each other as lawyers, who help each other as this or that, the network that you built, that's a lot more important. So this program instilled, because you come from Soweto, you, you are unlike somebody who's gone to varsity at you at, uh, or at high school at St. John's or the boys clubs and all these other things that they, we haven't got those. This platform starts to create, because all of a sudden at UCT they start to say, what's Promets? What's it about? And they start recognizing some of the people that come from Promets who have done exceptionally well.